Hello, everyone, and welcome to Training Tuesday. I'm Angela Blaha from AngelaBlaha.com. And today, we want to talk to you about having fun. Fun seems to be something that we are really taking for granted. And I've been getting the message over and over and over for about the last couple of weeks that fun needs to be incorporated in every single day. So... Um, I was at an event yesterday, and um, someone had commented, one of the speakers actually had commented about um, how that we can't have everything in life, that we need to pick and choose about what's going to make us happy. Um, and I was, I was literally shocked, because I don't necessarily have that belief. I believe that everything, that we can have everything, and that everything can be um, most everything can be fun, right? So when you go to work, is work fun for you? Or is it drudgery? Is there a belief system someplace that tells you that work cannot be fun? If it's fun, then you're not really working, right? So when my kids were little, um, we would have to clean the house every week and that was just kind of the routine that we had set up. And so instead of making them chores or this was drudgery that we had to do before we could go out and have fun or do anything else, like I made the chores fun, right? So we would, I would turn up the music really loud and we would um, take the vacuum and we'd be dancing around and dusting and we'd dance around and it was fun. Right? So we have to look at life and the things that we do in life. How can we make them fun? The statement that she had made was literally a belief. A belief that she couldn't have everything in life. And if that's your belief, then so be it. I will support you in that. But my belief is that we can have everything and that everything is a perspective. Cleaning the house can be a chore. It can be misery. But the perception, my perception was, well, let's make this fun. If we have to do it, let's make it fun. Right? I, I personally don't enjoy cooking very much because it, it's a time consumer for me and it's a distraction for me. Now that was my belief, right? But now it's like, oh no, what does the body need? Right, I'm asking those questions. What does the body need to provide um, a high vibration for me today? And then I've created fun out of it. Like, oh, what can I mix to make this be fun? So it's all about perceptions. It's all about belief systems. Even simple things like, is life fun? can be a belief system. Big trips can be fun. Little tiny things, going for walks can be fun. When my girls were little, they hated to fold the clothes. So I'd put their underwear on top of their heads. And then we would laugh and giggle and it was fun and it got done in minutes compared to, I don't wanna do this, all this complaining and stuff like that, right? So, <laughs> so how do you have fun? Ask yourself every single day, how do you have fun? And do you have fun every single day? Is having a cup of coffee and doing some journaling fun? It should be. It doesn't have to be work. When we review our belief systems, are, is that fun? Is that exploring who you are? Is that like, do you have a 360 view of something that you thought was um a way of being, but yet all of a sudden now it's expanded and it's bigger and now you have some other way of being? It should be. Maybe getting a coffee and reading a book is fun. I take frequent drives down to the river because I love the river. It brings me peace and calm. Peace and calm to me is fun. Going out to parties is fun. 
taking trips, those are fun. They can also be huge stressors, right? So what is your belief around a, a vacation? When I was young, we never took vacations. Why? Because it was stressful for my parents. They had to decide where to go and if they could stay with someone or if they had to get a hotel. And I mean, it was just a big stress, so they just decided not to go. So we have to really start to pay attention to what is fun and are we creating fun out of this amazing, beautiful life that we have. Walking in the forest, taking a walk down the road, walking by a, through, a, through a walking trail, right? What are, what's fun? Making every day, this is your challenge. Do something every single day that requires fun. Something fun. And look at your belief systems. Right? These are your two challenges. Look at your belief systems. What does your belief system say about fun? Can you only have fun? Like when I was young, we could only have fun after all of our chores were done. How often did fun come? <laughs> Not very often. Sunday afternoons usually. Right? Every other day was filled with chores. So, but make your chores fun. Who says we can't make them fun? Work. Who says work can't be fun? I don't work a day in my life because I do exactly what my passions bring to me. And my passions are amazingly fun. Like I am on fire when I teach. I am on fire when I can watch someone have an aha moment. Oh my gosh, that is the most fun ever. Right? So do fun. Commit to yourself to having fun every single day. Even if it's a small, tiny little particle. Small little nugget of fun. Or something big fun. Change your perspective. Change your point of view. Change your belief systems. And have fun. It's a really matter of doing that. Those two things, two things, right? What are they? Look at your belief systems, what's fun, and actually allowing yourself to have fun every single day. So you can find out more about me at www.angelablaha.com. I'm on Facebook and I have a Facebook group as well where we talk about energies, where we talk about um, things that come up in the world like fun. And I do live psychic threads in there so you can join us in that group if you'd like. It's called Blissful Living. Um, otherwise, until next week, have an amazing week and have fun. Take care.